Hey guys, Biddy YT here, and today I will be building a duck pin bowling alley. Let me just get on a studio really quick. Okay, so we're on studio right now, guys. And now what we're going to do oh, is we are going to go on, we're just going to get a base plate, why not? So now that I'm on base plate, I'm just going to wait for the toolbox to load. Okay, now that we have the toolbox loaded, all we're going to do, that, well, now that we have everything loaded, all we need to do now, guys, is just simply insert a part. Now with this part you're gonna scale, you're gonna get scale on, and you're going to do like that. Sorry about the dogs barking. One second guys, I'll get back. Okay, I am back guys. Uh, I'm gonna put this in slap the end, just a month off, boy. Welcome to the stream. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm building a duck panel. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it because there's no tutorials on YouTube, so I decided I'd do one. I'm just gonna get on my stream really quick. Sorry about the dogs barking. Okay, so what you wanna do is you. I'm sorry. One second, let me get my dog to be quiet. And go to V2. Now look at how long this is, and then you're just gonna scale your lane to fit the gutter. I'm just gonna scale my lane to fit the gutter. Alright. Now that we have that, we're just gonna duplicate the gutter and put it on the other side. So now you have this. It kind of looks like a balloon without coloring. So now what you want to do, you want to insert the material as wood, and you're going to make the color daisy orange, so you get this color. And then now what you want to do, one second, let me see who's watching two viewers, okay, not bad. And then now what you want to do is, because it's really hard to make a bowling pin, I don't really know how, you're just going to type in bowling pin. Type in bowling pin. Let's see, I'm gonna scale this really quick to totally the length. Okay, so we're gonna use this one right here. Now, because this would be a regular ten pin, we're just gonna scale it a little bit, and you get a duck pin. So now you have your duck pin. You're just gonna insert it on your lane. No coding is actually included in this because you're not going to need to make a pin setter. No pin setters needed because those take a lot of work. And for one, I only know the basics of coding. Okay, I can change the properties of things and I can make things go invisible. I can do things like that, but I can't code a pin setter, so. No coding pin setters today. I have a feeling that something's wrong with that pin. I'm bad. Okay, so we're just gonna finish doing this until we have our nice setup like this. 
Now we're just going to insert a bowling ball just to test. We're just going to insert a bowling ball to test our lane out. So we're going to do bowling ball. And make sure you insert the first one by um, Hammy252. Make sure you insert the one by him. And now what we're going to do is... Now what we're going to do is we are going to test the pins. Make sure they are easy to knock down, which they are obviously aren't right now. Because, like, look, if you have them on the lane, they don't fall down. They're a little anchored to the lane. So in that case, what you want to do, we're just going to select all the pins out on the lane, not the lane, the pins. Okay, this is hard. Because they're like on the lane. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're just gonna group them together so yeah well, you can move them around. And you're just gonna move them up like this. So now they're hovering above the lane. Obviously they will fall so you wanna Take your lane, go down to where it says size, take the thing that says 1, take the number 1, and you're going to change to 0 0.5, not 6, 5, to make your lane about that small. That's weird though. Alright, what I'm going to do is 0 0.1.1. Because when I go to my candle pin lane, that's what happened, so... Yeah, we're gonna try 1.2. It might take a lot to find the size because all parts are different. So now, if I can get that in there, that would be nice. Yep, just slide it right in there like that. Sorry about all the barking, guys. If you guys can hear, I am very sorry. Now what I'm going to do is, I am just going to click this again. We're going to make it about 1.3. Now, good enough. That's good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the duck pins. Here are small 10 pins, or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to put them on the lane. And once they're on the lane, let me read the chat really quick. Because I'm thinking it's in the chat. Okay, it's a dead chat. Okay, so... Now what you want to do is, once you have your pins like this, what you want to do from there is, you want to just put them down a little bit. Okay, your lane is probably too big. I mean, your lane is probably too small, or not. So, how we're going to figure that out is we're going to test it and see if when the pins hit the lane, they just fall right over. Only two did. Okay, let's just test them and make sure they're easy to knock over. <laughs> they just all fell over at once, so that means the parts are too close together. So we're just going to ungroup all the parts. And we're just going to do one right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. Whoa. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna keep doing the same thing. Because we don't want them anchoring together like that. That is bad because then when you publish your game and let people bowl, the pins obviously will just stick together. So once you have your easy setup like that, what you wanna do is you wanna regroup all the pins together. Okay, now that you have them grouped, what you're going to do now is, again, we're just going to rise the pins up a little bit. Now we're just going to take this and group that one in with the rest. Don't need any pins to get left out. Also, we'll have a full 10 pin set up. Okay, now what you're going to do... Is we're gonna change the bowling lane size to 0 0.7. I mean 1.7, my bad. And then we're just gonna move the lane in through there. And now the duck pin should just 
barely be hovering over the lane. And then now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scale it a little bit. And we're gonna press play. Let's see if all the pins can stand up. Nope. They fell. And that is a good sign right there that the pins are nice and easy to knock down. That is what you want to see. You want to see that. So, since the pins are still falling down, you just want to increase your size until the pins stop falling down. Now, if you haven't seen the trailers of my other lanes I've made, like Candlepin lanes, make sure to go check those out. They're pretty awesome. The bogey lanes one I did, I completely forgot to save that one. I saved something else. I saved it to the wrong slot. I saved the wrong going out to that slot. And now, bogey lanes is wiped. So... Sadly, that won't be uploaded. It won't be, actually, it won't be a game on Roblox. I might try to rebuild it. I'm not sure. It took a very long time for me to rebuild. Okay, pins are still falling. That is not a good sign. You know what it is? I probably have to anchor the lane down. And now we have the lane anchored. Let's try it. Because when the pins fall down, the lane probably goes places. Okay, that's not the case. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Apparently the pins need to... Like, how are they falling? Ah. Okay, so... I'm going to scale it to about... I'm sorry it's taking so long, guys. I'm just going to scale it to about 2.1. That has to be enough. Uh, 1.2. 2.1. Uh-huh. Okay, let's... Here we go. I'm telling you, this has to be enough. Yeah, there's no way those pins can fall over now. Those, that's like, two, those dangling like two centimeters above it. If this falls, I'm gonna scale more. Let's see. Hey! Okay, yeah, let's lock them down. Okay, now that we have our lane, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the, um, make the, um, I forget what it's called. Masking unit. We're gonna make the masking unit, so. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna insert a part. And we're because I don't want to rotate it. You don't even have to rotate things. You can just do it like that. I'm gonna put a part about right there. I will change the color and change the property later. Now what you want to do is just want to scale it up a little bit like that. Duplicate it. Bring it to the other side. Okay, um, there we go. Alright, now that we have that, we're just gonna, um, I just wanna change the color right now so I don't forget. I'm just gonna make it probably like a dark gray. And change the color to metal. Hey, where's the metal? Let's do dump, dump. Okay. Now that we have this, we're going to duplicate this. Rotate it. If you guys didn't know, you can rotate things by pressing T and R. But you have to have C, T, or R, L down when you do it. So I move this to that. Okay, now that they're the same length. Okay, I'm going to have to scale this in a little bit. Okay, now that we have this, obviously that is not enough room for the duck pins to land, so... Scale this out a little bit more, probably about to right there, yeah, right there. Okay, now that, that's enough room for the duck pins to land. I'm not going to have much detail in the back because that would take a lot of coating. And obviously, I know we want to make a nice balloon with that coating, so. Well, the chat's not dead anymore. Let's 
One second, guys. Okay, now that we've done this, we're gonna just duplicate a part so we don't have to insert another one. And I'm going to scale this down like this. No, that's too big, so I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. That's where I can fit into there. And that, that's the back of the lane. That's where all the duck pins will land. Now, if you look at a picture of a duck pin lane, let's say we just type in duck pin lane. Let's just say we type in duck pin lane. Go to images. Let's do back of duck pin. Now, as you can see right here, you see how the pins land in that thing? Or, like, see how they have a little thing that they land in? That's what we need to do. So, that is what we need to do. So, I'm just going to scale this high. It's not a little part. Okay, so now that we've done that. What we're going to do is, I'm just going to put the top on. I remember when I was on studio, and I used to give up in like two seconds. I, I didn't have the patience to make a game, but now I do. And there we go. So now you have your little duck pin lane. Now what we're going to do is create the approach. Now, I don't even know what I'm making right now. I'm just making some duck pin lanes. So wait, first we better test it out and make sure it's right. Make sure the pins land back there and don't come back up onto the lane. And if you know in duck pin, you get three shots, which means um, if the duck pins stay on the lane, I think that's allowed in duck pin. I'm not sure. Now, if we go down, as you can see, the pins land in there. So did the ball. So, yeah. Knock them down. Okay, so that means we're off to a good start. Let's continue. Okay, so I'm just gonna group everything in this together. Where we get like this, where we carry the whole lane. And then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put a wall behind it, so that way, what will happen is like, I, I can get the lanes even. I'm just gonna make a giant wall. And there we go. We've made our giant wall. Now that, well, now that way we can duplicate this because I don't feel like making millions of lanes. Because then the tutorial would be hours and hours long. And I know you guys are probably wanting a nice, quick tutorial, so that's what I'm going to give you. Now, as you can see, the lanes are not even for some reason. Because that is not totally touching against the wall, so I'm just going to move this against the wall. There you go, even lanes. Now what we can do is we can duplicate these lanes. Let's see, TRLD. And then we can bring them together like that. And they are not even, so we're just going to push them back to where they are even. Duplicate four. And you just keep repeating this cycle over and over again until you end up having like 29 million lights. But yeah, so... We're just going to do that. Wait, did I actually get that one even with the move tool? Hey, we did it! Okay, so we're just gonna duplicate these and yeah. Okay, let's get that. Is that touching against the wall? Yes, it is. Let's see if they're even. 
him all the lanes look even. Okay, sweet. So now we have our um, lanes, and now what we're going to do is we are going to build the alley. So how I'm going to do that is, first of all, I'm just going to make the base plate. I'm just going to fix up the base plate really quick. And by that, I mean, I'm just going to insert it in this to make the base plate look better. Insert carpet onto the base plate cell. It looks good. That way, I don't have to insert parts in between there. And that's what you can do. So it kind of looks like you've inserted a part in between there. But really, it's just the whole base plate being colored. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to go back to your workspace. And then, what you're going to do is you are going to, after this, what you're going to do is you want to insert a part. And for this, we will be making the um, carpeting. We're just going to make the carpeting. See, actually, you can leave that open if you want. Okay. I'm not going to make it that big, obviously. Because then the carpet would be huge. Okay, so we're just going to make, like, carpets that are about this big. That big, and then we'll just keep duplicating it. Okay, so first of all, you want to go to Images. And then we're just gonna ins we're just gonna type carpet. And we'll give all these options, but what one will I choose? I will choose the same one I used yesterday for my other bowling lane. Because this one works out really good for bowling centers. So, I'm just going to use that one, I'm just going to duplicate it. Honestly, I don't feel like making a decal because it's very hard to do. That should rub up against it like that. Okay, now I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the lanes. Duplicate. Perfect. And then I'm just going to copy all of it. Duplicate. Make sure that's even. Move it a little bit this way. And just a second. There. Right now. We need the move tool. Now, obviously, yeah, the carp. I know there's going to be an approach going here. Okay, that's weird. You know what? Let's do the carpet. Because so that way we can get the dimensions of our center. Let's do the carpet. After. Center. Delete. 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 Okay. So now what we're going to do is let's build the walls. So. Well actually no. We got to build the approach first. Okay for the approach. I'm going to do this. I'm going to insert a part. And scale it. To where it's even with the lanes. And I'm just going to. Bring it all the way to here. I'm bring it from gutter to gutter. Like that. Okay, now you're just going to scale your approach back about to there. And more. Okay. Now, this is where your bowlers will bowl. You can make it as big as you want. I want to make it this big so it looks nice. And I'm going to make it wood. And the color will be daisy orange. So now you end up with this. Right, now we can insert the carpet.
Because I want a little area where you can kind of go in the back, even though there's nothing to see in the back. I see, oh, I see you can see, oh, you see the back of the lane. And I can delete that wall now. Wait. These lanes are bigger. Hold up. Why are these lanes bigger? And we gotta scale those down. So let's do it. Um, okay. Let's move them this way a little bit and then we can scale them down. That is so weird. Why? You can clearly see it. It's bigger. And. It shouldn't be. Hey, what? The? Okay. Um. Now I can probably use the move tool to move them down individually. I don't know why they're like this. Whoa. No, it's okay. I don't know why, but that one won't go down, so I'm just gonna have to have an uneven lane. In fact, I could just do this. Oh no, look at that, it look nice. Alright, let's bring it down, and then I'm gonna look at the chat. Okay. I'm a great way to comment. I have to have that, even though I don't want to. Well, it's gonna have to happen. Okay, so now all we need to do is this. So I'm gonna insert a part, rotate it, and then move it from here to about. A lot of people like to know what the back of the bowling lanes look like, so they're gonna get a little space where they can walk down to look at this back. Duplicate it, rotate it, pick it up, and place. This one has to be scaled really long. Okay, and we'll scale it to about right there. Duplicate it, rotate it, and take it, and put it right about here. Duplicate it, rotate it, and put it about right here. And we can just put the carpets inside of here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale the walls up nice and tall. Do the same here, scale the walls up nice and tall. That way, we can have a nice bowling center. Again, scale the walls up nice and tall. <laughs> Sorry, and then do the same here. Nice and tall. Oops. And then... We're going to put it right there. Alright, now what you guys want to do is you can leave that like that. Not like that, but what you now want to do is you want to... Now is the time where you get to make the carpet. And then I'll fix the walls up towards the end. But for now, let's make the carpets about this big.
I'm also going to be showing how to make the pin deck. Well, the pin. Well, we've already made the pin deck. I'm talking about the um picture that goes on the, that goes above for decoration. I'm going to show you how to make that too. That is actually very simple to make. Okay, let's scale that right there. Move it down. Scale. Move. Put down. Move. Okay, now I'm just gonna shrink that. There we go. I have to re shrink this a little bit. Okay, right, there we go. Same thing with this. Just shrink that a little bit. Okay, now we're going to take the carpet and we're just going to do like that. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, let's just do this. Oh, look at what this would look like. The floor, oh my gosh, the lanes being that. The base plate being that. No thanks. Okay, I'm just gonna have to click in the distance to get that. Move that. Okay, now that we've done this, we're gonna come out of the bowling alley. We're gonna insert a part. I'm gonna read the chat really quick. Okay, now we're going to do that, and we're just going to scale it nice and big. Actually, I need to put this into the bowling alley so I can scale. Now, always make sure your stuff is anchored because I forgot to anchor this and it completely just fell down. So, always make sure you anchor your stuff. If you don't, then it's always going to fall. And once it's about that tall, you're good. Okay, now I'm just going to obviously not going to change the color. And now, let's say we just want to do bowling. Now, if I'm typing bowling, let's see. Also, I'm not doing that one, not doing that one, not doing that one. Not doing any of this. Okay, so we don't want bowling. Um, what about we do uh, decal? Um, you can pretty much do any decal you want. You can do anything. Or, if you want to, you can do this. Okay, let's bring this into the bowling alley. And put it... You can always just color a part and put it as that, but I don't want to. I don't know. Let's just go back to what we had it as. Okay. Um. What could this look like? Um, no. Um, what about we did... How would that carpet decal look? That looks good. Got this. That looks good. 
Okay, so just find the decal you would like, and then once you have that, you're gonna go to bowling balls, cause obviously you do need more than one bowling ball. And I can't make one that stays in the in someone's inventory forever. I can't make it go back in a ball return. Huh? Bowling ball, right there. It's gonna insert many. There's probably gonna insert nine. The and the players will have to reset after three frames. I'm not even counting. Okay, one more should be good. Okay. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do now is put the roof on the alley. Let's just put the roof on. And then we're going to have to make a system where the pins can come back up. I'm not sure if you have to make it to where the pins stay off the lane. Difference or what? I'm pretty sure you can get the pins to stay on your lane. I honestly don't know. But we're just gonna play my way of duck pin, where the, you set what the pins stay on the lane goes. I've been duck pin bowling before, and I'm not, I forget how that worked. If you had to let the pin, if you could, I don't know. So okay, now that we have a nice little center here. What now what you wanna do is because we need we need the pins to regen or at least reset and obviously I can't build one. I don't know how to code. If you know how to code, then you don't even have to watch till here, but if you don't know how to code then I would recommend watching. These are my models. But uh, here's the models. You can insert this working AMF ball return. And if I did this right, I should be able to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to put the AMF ball return right there. This is what I use in all my bowling alleys. Now, if you know how to code, feel free to make your own. If you don't know how to code like me, you might want to watch this. For the non people, for the people who don't know how to code, I seriously just watch this. Because this is a coding free tutorial. I'm just gonna place them. It doesn't matter how you place them, you can place them like you want. You can give each one their own private little ball return. Or you can do it my way. Decorate your bowling alley any way you would like. It doesn't you don't have to do it just like me. You can decorate it, but make sure you do the lanes like I did because if you don't then it won't turn out good. Unless you are a professional builder and you know what you're doing, just get off this video because you probably know what to do. Now you have the ball returns. I know they probably look uneven. Now I can fix that. Okay, now that you have this, what you want to do now is we're going to insert smart regen. Well, first you got to ungroup all the lanes. That's the most painful part in this tutorial. So this is the most painful in this tutorial, so. Just ungrouping the lanes this is really painful to do. The regen button part's easy. So, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do CTRLU. To ungroup all the lanes. Okay, now what you wanna do, we're just gonna insert a smart regen. There's the other one. Oh, well. 
Guess what? Whoa, well, I don't want to move the carpet. Put that back. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale this nice and small so it's one unit. I want this to be exactly a unit. Um, how did that wall get that decal? I don't know how that happened. Let me read the chat before I continue and see if anyone saw anyone. Nope. Okay. Back to studio. Okay, now what you want to do is just going to take this. I'm just going to put a lot because we're going to need a lot. My bad, the region button. I thought was painting the full part. I'm just gonna do that. Whoops. Make sure that gutters. Okay. putting the region buttons on they are annoying to do but you gotta do it what the heck just what the heck is going on I clicked the region button no region button turn there we go now we're going to take this, put it right here, we're going to turn that one, take this one, put it right here, and we need to turn this one. I don't really need the move tool. Uh, I don't know why I still have it. Okay, so we're just gonna continue doing this. This is the last one on that ball return. Okay, now I'm just gonna duplicate that. Okay, come on, move. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, come on. I don't need to move so it's getting annoying. Okay, um, that's on that side, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna turn that around, duplicate it. I don't want to move this ball at all. I don't know what that noise is. Okay. Okay, last buttons. And I'm just going to take this one and rotate it. Okay, now what we can do is we can start grouping them together. So let's then click the pins. C0, G. This one, click the pin, CTRL G, and just continue doing this until you get your grouping them. After this, you will actually be done with your bowling alley, and all you have to do is you can make three over for it, you can test it. Like, I always like to make videos online, as you can see from the past, like, three videos I've done. I 
Yeah, one day I just... I was like, I want to make handle pin bowling. What the? Click that. Click the pins. Group. Okay, there we go. Click that. Click the pins. Group. Click that. Click the pins. Click that. Group. Click that, click the pins, group, click that, click the pins, and group. Now, yeah, you will have to be on PC to play it until I can figure out how to make a mobile friendly ball. People who use the story will have to be on PC. If you do know how to make a mobile friendly ball, comment down in the comment section below. Uh, I would really like to know how to do it. Okay, a I, I need a ball you can like throw on while we're just tapping. Like the ball with the red line that I'm using right now, you can't throw. Okay, now that I have grouped all of these with the pins, gonna go through and make sure they all are. Not any region buttons are not grouped. I think the ones I should check are like the first two, cause those ones probably aren't grouped. Well, I've grouped them on. Now let's test the game, make sure it's working, and then that will be it. And you have made your first bowling lane. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? I forgot to put a spawn. No, I don't anchor that. Yeah, I didn't anchor that. Well, it's anchored now. Look at that made a model spawn. And obviously, I'm just gonna change the colors so it looks normal. There we go. And now we should spawn in the bowling alley if I have done everything right. Yep. Okay, let's use this lane to test and see if it works. Three walls. A spare. What the heck? Why is it this one pin that's falling? Not for one pin. It's falling. That is weird. Okay. Um. How did I get stuck in the ball return? Okay. Okay. What lane was it? What the heck? Um, how? Well... Oh, hush, Roblox Studio. Thank God we caught that. See, when you test it, you can always find mistakes in your game. Now, apparently one pin was not grouped, and I don't know how that happened. I think I ungrouped it too much is what happened. Yep, I ungrouped it too much. Uh, okay, what's grouped in this one? I 
I want to test something and see if it regens the regen button. I know that sounds crazy, but I want to test it see if that's what happens. Nope, it works. I almost forgot to land right there. I don't think I did these lanes. What the heck? What the heck? That is weird. Okay. Um, I think I figured out the problem. Okay, what we need to do is I need to take that. What did I group? What part did I group that? Did I group a gutter? I grouped one of these. But it's okay because it doesn't regen. Now I'm just gonna put this with that. So now, I do that, that should regen. Now, I'm just going to test this, and hopefully it works. Praying that it works. Yeah, that's not the right lane. That's not the right lane. Not the right lane. What the? Well, it doesn't work. But anyways, yeah guys, that is how you build your own bowling lane. If this tutorial helped, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Remember, not make the same mistake I did. But yeah, video by T, out.